for Ramadan mm-hmm. and during the other days maybe it's uh, reduced or or will be uh, as normal mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay okay good so I'm, I'm asking yeah. your personal experience in Ramadan okay uh, okay, okay. Yeah. what my uh, mm-hmm. personal yeah yeah I think uh, from my uh, daily uh, routine i mm-hmm. think there is no uh, maybe essential difference from the other days because hmm. regarding to my work uh, regarding to my uh, job there is no difference and i am used to uh, make many of diets or done with uh, many of diets so mm, okay uh, fasting is not uh, a big deal for me uh, okay does it matter anything for example yeah oh, uh, just uh, for drinking mm-hmm. of course yeah it's maybe my, it's a little a bit of water, okay. mm-hmm. yeah yeah thank so, you so yeah i think it's not big big deal for me for fasting mm-hmm. so um have you been jet lagged like have you faced any problem with the biological sleeping timetable that uh, you were supposed yeah, yeah. to manage or? Uh, okay. yeah disturbance of sleeping exactly okay. uh, i faced with this uh, disturbance of sleeping mm-hmm. yeah but uh, yeah i i mm-hmm. as well used to maybe uh, get to sleep uh, lately so okay it's either not a big deal <laughs> okay yeah okay um okay. What, what would you call a person that actually doesn't have enough sleep there is a special terminology for this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget. The it's okay. No problem. I'm I'm sending it, I'm sending it to you all. You can check it now. No, uh, huh? Yes. Something like uh, an expression. Night it's, it's owl. Not an ex- no, 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 no. That is that is something different. If you are staying. Can I? Of course you that? can. Of course you can. Um, yeah. yeah it's sleep. Yeah. Yes, you know, yeah, it's something that I actually suffer from. And also, he said sleep uh, deprived. deprived. Yes, deprived. deprived That's yeah. a scientific terminology that describes a person that always has lack of sleep. It doesn't mean whether you are insomniac or not. Whether, like, you can't sleep and the Andak Arak. No, no, it doesn't matter. But it matters when you don't have time to sleep because you're always busy. So you are sleep deprived. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Good, Mr. Berto. Good job. Good job. All right. So, anybody else? Welcome, Mr. Haider. Good evening. Okay, he has just joined. Uh, so, Miss Raya, Ray, sorry. Mm-hmm. Hello, Mr. Ali. Hello. Good welcome. evening. Welcome, Hello, everyone. Mm-hmm. Welcome Thank you very board. much. Good to see you. I will Thank ask you. you a question after I finish speaking with um, our friend. Okay, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Miss. Yes, Miss Ray. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and tell you about my experience. Well, for me, I don't usually fast. I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm la- not really committed, but I do intermediate uh, fasting sometimes mm-hmm. in Ramadan during Ramadan. Um, I think the most important thing about Ramadan is the family gathering, oh, and yes. it's something. Mm-hmm. It's very different in that particular month for some reason, even though it's similar. I mean, it's just a regular month. It, it's just its dates. Mm-hmm. There's nothing um, really that different for me. Mm-hmm. But the family gathering, we have we have them more uh, in that, uh, you know, that month. And also like um, uh, work wise and school wise, I get less lectures <laughs> because the <laughs> doctors okay. are actually very tired. Yeah. <laughs> and they sometimes forget us. So oh, okay. Sometimes that, or all the times? <laughs> yeah, they don't... I, I wish that was something regular all the time, but yeah, yeah. sometimes they forget us. And sometimes, uh, uh, you know, when it was mand- mandatory to go to college before COVID, uh, they mm-hmm. would just, like, let us go uh, before the class is over and, you know, they go easy on us. Uh-huh. So that's uh, that's a positive thing about Ramadan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you, Miss Ray. I appreciate your you. participation. And um, so, uh, my question was, um, how? Sorry, you want to say something, Miss Ray? No. Okay. Like I want to listen to your okay. question. Okay. Uh, Mr. So, Ray, Mr. Bill, sorry for interrupting, okay. but I, yeah, I just asking uh, to join the uh, the session by my laptop because my phone is uh, about to die. So. 
if you don't mind, just uh, accept my. Of asking. course, of course. Whenever I get the, um, uh, yeah, request, I'm yeah, going I to accept. Already, I already requested. Uh, now I'm just no, waiting. No, no, nothing, nothing. You might rejoin again. Okay. I haven't received anything. Okay, I will try. Okay, okay. okay. you can carry on, sir. Okay, Sorry. all right. So the question was about Ramadan and how did you welcome Ramadan and what things you were able to do managing between work and fasting and what things you actually now you can do okay or you can't do if if you are not in Ramadan so things that you could and you couldn't do okay Mr. Haider do you want to say something? Sorry Mr. Ali mm -hmm. I, I'm so sorry um, I, I just uh, arrived to the camp so can you please repeat? Uh, uh, okay, you have just arrived the to the camp. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, the question about Ramadan. It's about uh, Ramadan. Exactly. Um, so mm -hmm. has has Ramadan changed your life? I mean, like your biological life and your timetable, scheduling your tasks and achieve your uh, <laughs> duties. It's like things you only could do in Ramadan, but you can't do mm -hmm. now and things you couldn't do in Ramadan and you can do now. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, first, hello everyone. Mm -hmm. And Welcome. thank you for the question. Um, maybe you know uh, my working life. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm working uh, since the... Uh, uh, sorry, my job start at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And finish uh, at four o'clock p.m. Uh -huh. and the I sometimes come back to the home about uh, two hours, mm -hmm. so maximum uh, from night to night. Mm -hmm. But in Ramadan, our uh, work reduced uh, to uh, one o'clock, one p.m. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this time, I should have a rest, but okay. because uh, the uh, uh, this is uh, my first stage in mm -hmm. university okay. and the uh, our course is online so I have to stay in the office mm -hmm. uh, till the course is finished mm -hmm. so <laughs> it's like normal days I should stay up to four o'clock okay same thing so you have yeah a... so actually yeah my uh, fasting same my uh, usual day normal day sorry mm -hmm. so i have to work and to stay fast and to study so do everything but to be honest okay uh, my activities or my uh, yes uh, i'm not active like normal day because as you know uh, after uh, afternoon i feel sleepy um, i feel thirsty so i can't focus very well very good very good yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so same things regarding mm -hmm. uh, the taxes it's same the tasks okay mm -hmm. okay the tasks. yeah I, yeah thank you thank you so much yeah, i know you are oh, okay. tired it's okay thank you thank you so much mr haider thank you, thank you for sharing your lovely experience um miss henna would you like to tell us about your experience in ramadan and then we go to miss noor Miss Hena, are you following us? Are you with us? There is no no name regarding Hana. Yeah, or but something. her name is Sultana, but actually her real name is yeah. Hena. Yeah, yes. I'm oh, with you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell us about your experience? Did you spend the whole Ramadan eating, cooking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, only cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm cleaning. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that doesn't mean women only cook and clean in yes. Ramadan, but actually they have different and main duties they have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the English? Uh, after Ramadan, okay. uh, I cannot sleep uh -huh. uh, as a while. Okay. Yeah, okay. because mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the table of uh, of Ramadan is different, absolutely. Okay, from yes, 
the, the biological timing is different from the other months, especially in Ramadan. It is totally uh, different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Hena. Oh, yeah. Hena. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And we Thank have you. Miss Noor. Miss Noor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in Ramadan, I used to um, stay up so uh, 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the routine is somehow different okay. uh, from the normal day. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but uh, after Ramadan, I uh, I uh, could not stay uh, stay up because I have uh, a cook and I, I uh, have to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, in Ramadan, I um, attend some attended some uh, lectures with you, of course. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Yeah, about uh, pronunciation, mm -hmm. uh, better pronunciation. Yeah, better and, uh, English pronunciation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also um, the routine um, of my kids, of course, uh, is uh, uh, also uh, different mm -hmm. now. Uh, they use uh, to stay up with me, but till uh, um, the I am. Mm -hmm. Very good. And also, I um, I was busy actually um, moving to another flat. Uh huh. So okay. It is some. It is somehow uh, was difficult for me in this. Of course, Ramadan. it is very uh, hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so Congratulations. I, I, um, Congratulations. <laughs> uh, thanks. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was really somehow difficult, and mm -hmm. I think I. Uh, Somehow uh, didn't, uh, I mean, uh, uh, work, um, worshiping a lot somehow uh, mm -hmm. in a good way because okay. I uh, was uh, busy, yeah, moving to another flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for sharing your lovely experience with us here. That was in Thanks Ramadan. So. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Abdul Rahman Majid Muhammad. Would you like to say something? Would you like to speak to us? It seems this is your first time with us. Mr. Abdurrahman, would you like to... Okay. Uh, I just think this time. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome on board. And thank you for coming. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have Miss Sharaf. Sharaf, yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. How are you, sir? I'm Thank very you. well. I do remember you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. It's, it's been. It's been a while. How have you been? How was um, Ramadan? How did you welcome Ramadan? What was? Uh, what things that were special you did in Ramadan? Uh, I, I've been okay, and in Ramadan I haven't really done anything special. Mm -hmm. I was just uh, mostly busy studying and just mm -hmm. uh, like I, I painted a lot during that time because I had a uh, lot of time. Uh, we weren't doing a lot of studying, like on mm -hmm. the on the uh, electronic classes. How do you say it? online classes? Sorry. Online classes, yeah. That's yeah. All right. Take it easy. Okay. Uh, uh, it's yeah. my bedtime. <laughs> like I'm barely awake. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's your bedtime now. All right. Well, no, we'd no, love no. To... It's okay. Uh -huh. it, it's just my sleep cycle have has been flipped. Yeah. So in in like a, a way that's too early. That's right. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, um, but like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. No, and when you have sleeping, you know, um, like sleeping changes. That's called jet lag. Jet lag, Yeah. when you face a problem, when, especially when you travel to a different country or you change your biological sleeping timetable. I have written this word in the chat box. Yeah. Have you received this word, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I saw it, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Jet lag, when a person travels to a different country where the timetable is different, where they have 
maybe it's morning now in the states or in and somewhere else in the world and like it, it is evening now so when you travel you're going to have this problem jet lag all right yes i've actually had it when i traveled to, to mm -hmm. turkey a lot yeah yeah so i i understand that mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah well i've had it um many times when i traveled to the states i remember and also to malaysia it's like five hours different so it's something normal everybody can have it okay it's horrible yeah <laughs> yeah all right so thank you so much miss sheriff and um it's good to have you back and thank you so much ladies and gentlemen uh let's get back to the questions before we get back to the questions let me tell you about the new rules and procedures of the class i don't usually do such classes but for starting from next class we're going to have classes that are run by students so by people and the teacher i mean i am going to be observing watching helping supporting providing assisting explaining and also restructuring revising and helping everyone to practice to rewrite to reform different structures to use them in a proper context i hope everything was okay i was going quickly did you understand what i said yep okay all right so we are rich, actually. You, you're welcome rich, rich. Yeah. thank you and i'll be sharing different topics every class so everybody can practice and this is going to be a great chance for everyone to practice there are thousands of topics in the time that i suspended classes okay i have written thousands of questions for different levels even for higher levels or upper advanced levels level three four and five there are questions that might be scientific there are questions that are called open-ended questions so you're going to have time to practice and share your own experience with your friends okay this is one number two um all of my american friends um will be coming back to iraq in the end of this month so we will have them invited maybe one or two of them to this um, meeting this is uh, number two number three this class is recorded does anybody have a problem with the recording no it's okay mm -hmm. no it's okay right anybody everyone is okay and this class is going to be huh do you have any problem Ray? Nope. Okay. That's okay for me. All right. So the class will be uploaded to my YouTube channel, and you can also, um, you know, watch it later. And lots of people can watch it and can get benefit from the classes because every class we use lots of vocabularies that are being used by native speakers. All right. Good. So far, these are the uh, procedures that were added to our classes for those who have been with us all the times and for those who have recently joined now everyone everyone is aware of that and there is one more thing there is a book that we're going to use there are exercises that we have to do so we're going to divide the class we used to have three classes um, you know a week but now due to the lack of time we have only two classes so we used to have Sundays Tuesdays and Thursdays but now we have only Sundays and Thursdays uh, on the other days, Mondays and Tuesdays, I teach grammar and pronunciation for English students. It's like, uh, sorry, from uh, like the English department students from translation, literature, and education. So all of these students all together, I teach them. I teach the their books and I teach poetry, drama, as well to them. So they can get benefits from these. So everyone, everyone is invited to join these classes and to practice, to understand, uh, to also uh, have some useful notes about the pronunciation. I remember Miss Noor was with us, and it was. Remember? Yes. Okay. And I want to attend uh, the classes grammar yeah. and yeah, better English pronunciation. And I have asked lots of questions, and I've given lots of words. Some words were pronounced correctly. It's like the word. Mithran, the word mirtah. You remember this word? Comfortable. Mm -hmm. It is not comfortable. Remember, huh? 
There is no such a word. It is not comfortable. It is comfortable. It is comfortable. Okay, shahada, kalimat shahada. Certificate? I, mm -hmm. uh, yes. I didn't attend to the lecture no about No problem. Is it certificate yeah. or certificate, ladies and gentlemen? I think certificate, not certificate. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we call it certificate. Okay. Don't know. Okay. What do you think? So I call it certificate. Certificate. Did you say that, Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Haider, you said certificate? Mm -hmm. Yes. And what about Ms. Ray? And Mr. Berto, Ms. Hana, certificate. certificate. So it is certificate. It is certificate. From now on, if you haven't been using yeah. a good dictionary, you might use Webster as the best dictionary where you can find words that are not even available in Google Translator. So Webster, I have shared it here. You can use it, download it. It is available for Android and iOS devices. Okay. Let's go to the questions. Let's go to the questions. Let's go to the questions and let's practice. Okay. Okay. You are free to choose any question from the PDF file. And you are, I'm going to give you four minutes or three minutes, three minutes. It's okay. To choose any question you like from the PDF file. Do you all have the PDF file? Yes, Mr. Mm -hmm. Welcome on board, Mr. Abdullah Habib. Mr. Ali, I would like to apologize from you. It's okay. Because no. I have late, I have late, and I have to go because hmm. we have a guest. But um, also uh, because I, I promised you in the chat. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you allow me to leave? Of course, Habibi. To... You are free to leave and join any time you like. But we would love to see you so, with us. Inshallah, we will see you. Mm -hmm. I plan. I plan to 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 speak with you in this session, but unfortunately, it is uh, um, for, um, Yeah, it is an unexpected. Is a, a yes. certain circumstance. Un yes, yeah, unexpected. Okay. Yeah. Visit. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. Goodbye, Mister. Goodbye. Habibi, it's good to see you. Thank you. You are welcome, Mister. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so three minutes are enough to choose a question from one to twenty-five. Yes, anybody likes to start or everyone is ready? Huh. Sorry, so Mr. Ali, mm -hmm. uh, same book? No, no, it's, not, it's not in the book, it's a PDF file. I have recently shared. I have just shared actually. Yep, I, I got it. I, uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's one page. Yep. Yes, just a refreshment and then we're going to have lots of questions together. So I'm going to give you some time if you need time or if you want to speak now, if you are ready, you can do it. So uh, should I choose one uh, mm -hmm. item then I explain? Yes. That's it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Ali, I think I'm ready. Uh -huh. What is your question? Well, I, I agree with all, so I think it's no problem to... Uh, Start from anyone. Huh. So, yeah, I will choose maybe. There are simple questions, but we are. I have harder questions. Okay, let's start. Let's try. Uh, try myself. Okay, go you ahead. Can, uh, ask the, uh, the hard one. Huh? You want me to ask you? Or yeah, you? Okay. Uh, you want me to choose a question for you, or you want me to give you a question? Yeah, because you said you said there is a hard question. Oh yeah, there are hard questions. I just want questions. to try myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me just ask you a geographical question. If you are interested, then let's go. Okay. okay. But but the, the geographical uh, question is not involved in the. Yeah. BGF. Okay. So that uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding, Habibi. That's okay. I still have lots okay, of topics. Okay. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm I do kidding. Like Habib. This I is a, no this is for a different for class. Time. It's okay. All right. Okay. So, um, would you believe that politics should be compulsory in a school? Well, I think no. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't. Okay. Why and because why not? It's, uh, yeah, because I think it's up to the students. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, some of them is not. Uh, uh, interested in the politics or mm -hmm. maybe their families 
and uh, from our experience in, mm -hmm. in Iraq and you know in uh, our country in Islamic country uh, okay. generally as well uh, we maybe we didn't uh, uh, prefer to speaking about the politics you okay. know and policy as well mm -hmm. so I think it's uh, up to the uh, students uh -huh. okay. So it uh, shouldn't, uh, you know, uh, mandatory. It shouldn't uh, be by the way, Mr. Ali, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. yeah, compulsory mm -hmm. and mandatory. I think is mandatory. the same, maybe. Mandatory. Yeah, yeah they, they're they're the same what? use. They're the same use, but there is an official formal and informal. Okay, because we used to use the mandatory in the, our job. Yeah, mandatory, about, mandatory you know? when there are rules that are given by the manager, by a person. But compulsory, all the times there are rules that are given by the company, by the constitution, by the institution. Uh -huh. Okay? Okay, mm -hmm. okay, clear. All right. So, yeah, this is my answer. If you would no. like to uh, jump to other question, would be okay. Yeah, I, I will come back to you, of course, and I will ask you a question. Now, okay. Um, okay, let me ask you a question within the question. So if politics is not compulsory to be taught in a school, what subject or what topic would be compulsory to be taught that is not being taught in a school now? So this is a question I will come back okay. to you, Mr. Berto. Okay? Okay, so, so should I answer or no, just no. waiting your... Uh... No, you can wait for me to come back to you and I will ask okay. other friends. Okay. So who is ready, ladies, gentlemen? Thank you, Mr. Berto. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Miss Ray. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. First of all, I would like to salute you on your uh, choice of questions. Thank These you. These choices are amazing, especially 18 and 19. Okay, yeah. thank you. So I'm going to answer this question. They should uh, school meals go vegan? Mm -hmm. And I absolutely agree. I think, uh, uh, you know, Students consume a lot of meat. I mean, we as a society we consume yeah. lots and lots of lots of dead animals. So I think, yeah, during school time, you don't, need, you know, students don't need to get that um, uh, extra cholesterol from these uh, the meat, especially when it's like cooked horribly with mm -hmm. uh, so much fat and so much, yeah. uh, you know, it's yeah. not it's not healthy for them. So I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you be, vegan. Yeah, would you be able to share some of the disadvantages of vegan, like of meat, that could cause children's health? Could you repeat that again? Of course. Would you be the able... The internet was, uh, was okay. not okay. very good. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, let me write this. If you couldn't hear me, you can say you are breaking up. So was I breaking up? Okay. Mm -hmm. You were breaking up. Okay, I'm sorry. Yep. So what about now? Can you hear me? No. Oh. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, my question was, could you give me some disadvantages of, you know, giving meat to children? What are the disadvantages? Like what, what could meat cause to the kids? Well... First of all, it's, uh, it's I think it's it's like an addiction. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I know it's like not specifically known as an addiction, but when you give someone too much of something that's very bad for them, it's like um, not healthy, and mm -hmm. that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Meat is not really healthy, and it's not cooked in the right way. It's not cooked, you know, in a healthy way, mm -hmm. and uh, even the you know the dead animal itself, it does not. In, you know, uh, in most cases, the animal uh, slaughter your slaughterhouses. Um, they yeah. don't really care about that animal. They don't really care about the quality of the animal. There's so no it's mercy. not going to be going to be full of fat. Full of fat. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and it's not just about the mercy. Like the the meat is, um, you know, I'm not going to say artificial, but it's not processed. It's not meat. the best thing that that's called the eat. processed meat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that's a major disadvantage. Plus, it's, you know, uh, I don't really uh, support eating animals. Mm -hmm. um, for, you know, especially when, like, in schools. Um, okay. 
uh, a healthier, healthier options will, will be much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. So let me ask you a question within a question about um, food or specifying food for children. Okay. Do you believe if like this is a question to answer <laughs> later, not now after I um, ask your colleagues. So it's like, do you believe if we give meat every day to children, what would happen to them? Do you know something about it? You can think about it. What would happen to uh, children if they eat meat yeah. almost every day on a daily basis? What would happen to them? And I will come back to you, Ms. Ray, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. And anybody else from the ladies or from the gentlemen? Uh, Mr. Ali, I, had, yes. I just have a comment regarding what uh, just did. Uh -huh. Please go ahead. Go ahead, Habib, yes. I think, uh, I think uh, from the theory and the statics, uh, many of Iraqi people uh, <laughs> have a lag in the protein, so they have no, uh, no problem regarding uh, to uh, <laughs> consume many of meat. Yeah, this is what, what Dr. said. Yeah, they, they um, maybe have a problem regarding to consume many of carbs. Yeah, well, lots of carbs. Regarding carb, to eating more protein. of meat. We are just a, a poor uh, people, most of Iraqi are people, a poor people, so yeah. how could they just eat more of meat? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, Western world from America, there is not many of studies and stuff mm -hmm. uh, called that. They uh, consume more of meat, but in Iraq, I, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well okay. that's right. But it's still, it's still it is being used like as an example, if, if something, if worse comes to worse, if something happens like this. Thank you for the comments, Mr. Bertrand. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Mr. Haider, you wanted to be next. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding the same PDF, because I lost connection and now came, came back. Mm -hmm. So, still same program? Yes, it is the same so far. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I should have, uh, choose some... Uh, of these points, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So about number three, mm -hmm. number three. should schools uh, abolish exam uh -huh. exams? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the uh, exams to be sure that students are have uh, enough knowledge about what they are studying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I think there is many. Uh, kind of exam okay. and many ways mm -hmm. so our schools are still uh, following the classic way okay it's only some uh, writing exam and that's it and same procedure of questions one of my friends uh, he study in uh, Russia okay okay mm -hmm. and he told me uh, there is a good I good idea and they follow a nice procedure mm -hmm. The students have to read the, uh, the their books, their books, and um, whatever the material of examination mm -hmm. and the method of exam. Okay. There is a lot of questions. I rem I remember he told me there uh, there are was on um, about hundred forty uh, questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the labels. Okay. And he have to choose ten of them, as I remember. Remember mm -hmm. ten of them. Mm -hmm. Then he will choose five of the, the ten that he could answer it. It's from the from his box mm -hmm. and from his uh, yeah study material, studying material. Mm -hmm. So I think there is many ways, but we don't know. Uh, we can't cancel the examination. Okay. This should be. Yeah, it should be implemented, okay. but in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now here this is, is my... here is the question. Thank you. Here is a question that can um, briefly describes um, this question. Uh, do you think mm -hmm. this is a question to answer later, like after I finish speaking to your uh, friends here, to our friends? Okay. Do you think like smart students should skip classes? If you think so, why? And if you think so, why not? Or if you don't think so, sorry. Should yeah, they, should uh, they uh, skip I, classes? Yeah. If they are smart students, should they skip classes? They don't have to come to classes? 
if they have to come why if they don't have to come why okay okay i got you okay yes. uh if you remember uh, okay. uh, should i answer now or no later? no not now it's going to be later mr okay. um, sorry i'll, I'll come back uh, to you sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay and yes who is next anybody likes we have only miss um, oh, okay yep okay so i really like question number five okay. uh it says should public transport be free to discourage driving mm -hmm. uh i think it it's like it definitely should be free to discourage driving or at least be uh extremely cheap for mm -hmm. a plethora of different reasons okay. um first being um is it's more cost effective uh for the citizens mm -hmm. and also it's a uh, very uh, it's a good strategy to cut on um expenses mm -hmm. uh, governmental expenses in uh, non-oil rich countries okay and uh, it's also it's really good because it also cuts down on uh, co2 emissions which are uh, a huge problem as we know yeah um because of uh, our climate change situation mm -hmm. the ice caps are melting That's right. um some animals like polar bears and penguins are struggling That's because right. uh, their entire habitats are even being humans. lost even humans yeah mm -hmm. even humans yeah and it will affect us greatly at some point mm -hmm. in the future because uh, these ice caps have a lot of old viruses that That's right. we don't know anything about we don't we have no idea what they're gonna do or mm -hmm. what they're capable of. It's just, um, it's scary to think about really, because okay. especially during this time where we're in a pandemic because uh, of something so similar to something we already have, like the flu, mm -hmm. but it, it drastically changed our lifestyle for an entire year now. I think it's over, right. over a year. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it, it's, it brings a lot to thought to think about like what's going to happen if these diseases come out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. i think it's, it's a situation that just should be really really uh, encouraged to just have free transport because mm -hmm. it affects everything mm -hmm. all right good good thank you so here is the question thank you so much for um, the explanation and for your response for the question thank you yeah and uh, the question is how would you convince drivers to uh, discourage their cars the personal cars and to use public transportation what is what are the solutions that the ways that you could convince in your own opinion as an educated woman what would you suggest or create to um, help or convince drivers i mean you know um, that have their own cars to use public transportation and to have a better you know world and healthy world like that is clear of out of a co2 emissions and all the gases and the liquids that that are being created by the symmetry of different gases so have you have you got the question yes i've got okay. it good thank, thank you. you yes Okay, and we have last Miss Noor. Did you speak? I'm sorry, like I have forgot, I forgotten. Do you want? Okay, I think I have asked everybody, or I have missed someone. Miss uh, Hana, Miss Hana, do you want to speak? Did you choose a question? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want to speak? Did you choose a question? Uh, number uh, in search. Yes. Mm -hmm. Should violence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, should violence uh, with your uh, games? Games be banned. Uh, be, uh, banned. banned. Okay. Banned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this uh, video uh, should be banned because uh, the children uh, this video uh, harm or uh, or un. Uh, appropriate for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what harms could these video games cause to the children? 
What kind of harm? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I mean, maybe I mean that uh, this video uh, a non-moral. Huh. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they are overage. They call them overage, underage, and overage. Okay. Not suitable for all of them. Not yes. all of them. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Not all of them. Some of them. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, their family should be uh, uh, take care of them about all of videos when they uh, the children uh, take uh, the mobile phone mm -hmm. or uh, okay. smartphone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Very good. Thank you, yes. Miss Hannah. Here is a question. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very, uh, okay. I'm very embarrassed because no, no, this no. is the first time. No, don't be you. embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. You're okay. We are all here to learn. There is no problem. And you can see everyone is having a good time, yeah. including me. I'm happy. It's okay. You can make as many mistakes as you can. You can speak as long as you can. Okay. Of course, yeah. you have to give a chance to your friends to speak. So I want to... Um my skills for this person i uh, i want to t talk with you because i am uh, i feel uh, i feel uh, very happy when i talk with uh, uh, you and uh, my friends mm -hmm. inshallah everybody is going to practice in the group and we will be helping each other so i have a question for you Mr. just to save time i have a question yeah okay what other ways could be given to children to substitute video games so to have fun what other like games they can do they can practice but not video games to have fun did you understand repeat the question please sure children love to play video games okay but you yeah. can give them another games that are not video games. What are these games that can help them to play, but not electronically? They have to play physically. It's hard to Physically? Enough. Yes, it's hard to know. <laughs> I'll explain it to you in Arabic, no problem. Okay, <laughs> Miss Hannah, so it's okay, it's okay. Don't I, worry. I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I uh, in, uh, I I have uh, another idea. Uh, when I want my children to grow up morally. Okay. okay. Uh, no, I don't want I, you to answer now, Miss Hana. Uh, Think about the question, yeah. and I will come back to you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Noor. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, it is number one, mm -hmm. and it is also related to the question that uh, Miss Hannah ch chose uh -huh. uh, about mobile phones, uh, which is the, um, uh, if it is um, harm. harmful or, yeah, mm -hmm. more harm or, harm or good. Okay. Uh, actually, it uh, depends on the way that we use. We use uh, mobile phones, mm -hmm. uh, especially with uh, with kids. Mm -hmm. um, if, uh, if we let them use uh, mobile phones a lot and uh, adapted to it, especially mm -hmm. uh, video games, mm -hmm. that will uh, uh, that will cause a lot of uh, uh, problems and uh, also uh, autism. That what we uh, see nowadays. Yes, uh, lots of uh, children. Uh, suffer from that problem from autism. because mm -hmm. uh, yeah parents let them uh, use mo mobile phones uh, during uh, the day uh, mm -hmm. many hours uh, without um, without uh, um, uh, watching them mm -hmm. uh, in order maybe to to uh, get rid of uh, 
uh, get rid of uh, their, um, how can I say, um, uh, instead of let them uh, uh, make a lot of mess or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. So instead of that, they uh, uh, give them uh, mobile phones and mm -hmm. let them using it. So they keep uh, them busy all the time. While, yeah, yeah keep mm -hmm. them busy all the time. While uh, others can uh, make a s schedule for their children mm -hmm. uh, to maybe use it one hour uh, to use something uh, special or something interesting, uh, interested mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, or uh, scientific, of course. Uh, so it is have two sides, positive one and negative one, and it, it depends on how we can use it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how can we get benef benefit from using uh, mobile phones? Okay, good. Good, thank you, yeah. Ms. Noor. Good job. Here is a question. Um, do you believe that the family bonds, I mean family relations, are now better than they used to be in the past? Because now we have technology. I mean family relation between parents and children. Is it the same as it is now that it was in the past or it was different and what uh, was so different of course, about it? no no i i will ask you course. i will come back to you miss noor you think about it okay and then yes okay. so it was mr bertu first i remember hello mr ali yes habibi hello do you um are you ready okay uh could you just repeat the question, please? Actually, I, I don't actually remember the exact question, but um, just one second. It's, I think, uh, about the curriculum or something like that and the student, huh. uh, yes. maybe? Yes, yes. Okay, so we talked about politics and we said, like, politics, is it compulsory or not? And I have asked you, if it is not compulsory, what is the topic that should be compulsory that is not uh, okay, being taught okay. in school? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think uh, the most important one is and to... Uh, sorry to stop you, Mr. Bertu. Everyone will have okay. one minute because we don't have lots of time. MashaAllah, time has elapsed and we didn't feel it. So we have one minute to speak. Everyone, yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <coughs> sorry. Uh, I think the most important one is uh, the freedom of opinion and uh, expression for all the people, whatever the uh, gender quality, for example, or transgender mm. or whatever mm -hmm. yeah uh, the second one is uh, maybe a gender equality between the men and the uh, women uh, and uh, b by the railway not just hypothetical i know there is some maybe topics in the college and uh, schools now there is uh, maybe human rights i think uh, there is some book like that mm -hmm. uh, studying the schools but no in a, a, a practical uh, real and uh, and how to uh, convince our, uh, uh, for example, uh, students and uh, our children, mm -hmm. uh, how to obey and uh, comply to this uh, right, mm -hmm. for, to, to avoid any violence. Okay. I think this is the mo uh, most important one should be uh, mm -hmm. studied in the, in the schools. Okay, thank you. you know? Thank you so much, Mr. Berto. That was a pretty amazing covering the main thank details you, of the question. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we have uh, Miss Ray next. Thank you, Mr. Berto. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, Thank you. We, we discussed um, veganism and uh, we discussed giving meat to children mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. So, um, and effects of it. I think it's like, it's a huge thing. It's uh, mainly, it will mainly affect their health because what you eat and what we consume affects our health. And it's a, it's a known fact. So, um, it's it's not even recommended by doctors or by uh, nutritionists to eat meat uh, on a day on daily basis. So maybe once a week or twice a week uh, maximum, and especially for ch children with um, uh, because their like uh, their system, their digestion system is uh, is not as resilient uh, as mm -hmm. uh, you know as, as an adult, adult human. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it's going to be hard for them. It's going to be bad for their health, and of course the pollution and the the the, uh, the increase of the COO that you need uh, that that will happen if you give uh, kids like everywhere uh, meat every day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so it's not nutritious 
uh, nutritious meat, uh, nutritious meal, uh, uh, sorry, nutritious meal. <laughs> it's okay, because, it's okay. It's you know, right. it's often cooked with uh, um, uh, fats, and uh, fats. as you, as we discussed before, its process is mostly going to be processed meat. So, okay. Uh, good have job. A healthy choice. Good job. Very good. Thank you, Miss Ray. That's that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we have Mr. Haider. Yes, Mr. Ali. Yes, you, your question was, um, does the uh, smart students can skip the uh, classes, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think why no. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because the uh, teachers cannot uh, choose some students and give them the choice. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe the rule will say anyone think he's smart, mm -hmm. he can skip the uh, class, right? Okay. So I'm sure most of students will skip it. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, they study now online courses, online okay. classes, mm -hmm. and most of the students, students in the home may be lay, may be. Um, uh whatever in the home so inside the home okay they feel free mm -hmm. but most of them just enter the class and leave the mobile phone and maybe sleep mm -hmm. yeah uh, because sometimes the uh, teachers ask it call their name to mm -hmm. ask them question but no answer that means <laughs> yeah. they leave it okay thank yeah. you so much mr haider good job that was pretty yeah. amazing Yes, one minute answer. That was nice. Miss Noor? Miss Noor? Yeah, about the relationship between uh, uh, the family. Mm -hmm. It is uh, different, of course, from the past. Uh, we see now uh, uh, some, some members of, of the family are um, isolating themselves, busy mm -hmm. with uh, using mobile phones. Yeah. So it is uh, affected on their life, of course. Even sometimes when we visit uh, our uh, uh, relatives, mm -hmm. uh, we see uh, uh, in the same room every uh, everyone using uh, his phone and yes. busy with with uh, his uh, phone. That's right. So uh, yeah, so uh, uh, the life that in the past better than now. Mm -hmm. uh, the relationship between uh, the family itself okay. better than nowadays good good thank you so much miss noor that was one minute answer awesome. thank you i appreciate it miss sheriff uh, yes mm -hmm. yes um i think it's harder to entice and convince a, a, a drivers generally to uh, uh like get public transport because of the pandemic situation but yeah. i'm gonna answer this your question um in a pandemic free uh situation huh. okay go ahead yeah, yeah. okay so I think that it wouldn't be actually so hard to convince a lower and middle income families mm -hmm. to use public transport because of how uh, cost effective it is as uh, oil prices around the world are generally on the expensive side of things. Um, so it's uh, and lower and middle income families are probably um, the most uh, uh, they, they make up most of the population of most countries really mm -hmm. uh, so I think that it wouldn't be so hard especially if you give them a proper uh, um, transportation system such as the ones we see uh, in Japan uh, where they're precisely on time and they're uh, really efficient and really fast I think um, uh, that's the way to go about it really okay thank you that was very nice thank you so much one minute answer I appreciate it thank you Mr. Sheriff and we have lost uh, Miss Hena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ali. Yes. Okay. I forget the question. Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. Could you tell me? It's okay. Last you one. It's okay. Uh, uh huh. Uh, your question. I remember. Um, what other games you would give to children? to play with instead of playing video games? Yeah, I can uh, learn them Teach a lot them. of things. Mm -hmm. 
uh, yes. play games, mm-hmm. uh, sports, uh, play, uh, play football, swimming. This is a uh, uh, boy game uh, 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 from uh, the uh, video, watching okay. the video. Uh-huh. Okay. Another, another way. I can't and um, I can't save the uh, the good uh, video in my phone and uh, let them uh, watching them later. Okay. By me. Mhm. Okay. Very yeah. good. Okay. Good. Good. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. So they can they can Thanks. use physical games that are better than mental games. There are lots of physical games they have to use. And there's a game that we used to play when we were kids. Did you play hide and seek? Sorry? Did you play hide and seek? Do you know what hide and seek means, ladies, gentlemen? Yes. Did you play that game when you were a kid? Oh yeah, everybody did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So I hope that I have asked everyone. Mr. Mr. Ali, sorry for interrupting. I, yes. I just, mm-hmm. uh, sorry. We just be thinking about the disadvantage game on the children. But have you met someone maybe suffering from uh, m- mental health or, or some course. problem in, in, hell, in, in his mm-hmm. uh, mental health? Mm-hmm. Be- because. Most of children that I have met, uh, they may be speaking uh, English fluency. And when I asked him, uh, how did you learn your English? He said, by a video game. Yeah. And most of, of them uh, clever and, uh, and uh, got high, high score in, mm-hmm. in, the, in the school. So <laughs> uh, this I'm uh, just wondering, wh- why are we always speaking about the disadvantage of video games? Also, there are some uh, studies that show that the video game, uh, game can improve the mental health of the children because there is, you know, uh, some uh, break and uh, make you uh, thinking and maybe uh, but a solution for some, you know, I forget the the proper words. Okay, no, I, I will I will explain it to you. Of no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. Okay, okay. I, will, I will explain it to you, okay. Mr. Mr. Berto, and yeah, to everybody puzzle. here. It's like, yeah. you know, children are fragile. You know the meaning of fragile? Fresh. Uh-huh, good. Okay, good. So fragile. So which means they are also flexible in the very first age. You can assemble them the way you like by giving them the products or the things or the entries that you use to their system, I would say. So Mr. Berto, there are games that are mental games that can help them. Yes, I totally agree. But in our brains, our brains are pre-programmed they have different areas, like five or six areas. So there are areas that actually they can only work when you use only your brain. You don't move a hand. So this is the part that is going to be working. But what about other parts? What about the physical, like, you know, uh, interlap with other children? Going outdoors to see people. How to react for certain situations. Yes, I totally agree. Video games are a great effect, you know, to children's behavior. Yes, sometimes go positively and sometimes go negatively. Mr. Berto. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks. okay. Thanks. Just to explain. Well, thank you. Yes, Ms. Noor. Uh-huh. Uh, when I want to uh, let my children uh, leave uh, watching TV, for example, um, they like uh, to play with the... Uh, um, uh, chicken, uh, so the kitchen uh, tools. stuff. Chicken, t- oh, sorry, kitchen yeah. tools, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like okay. they like to play with them. Yeah, so it, it, they, it, it is it different. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. It depends. And it's, it, is, it is actually based on the family's like interests and the way they treat with things, they deal with things. It's all about it. Yeah. And just to remind you of everything, this class is free of suggestions. Everyone can give any suggestion they like. There is no problem. We are all friends. We have no intent to like harm anybody's religion, family, or even 
you know, principles. We're all here to practice, to speak, and that's all. The only aim is to practice speaking. Okay, so any questions before we leave? It's very quiet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to break that silence. I'm going to just remind you that I, wanna, I still want to volunteer. So of course. Just, no uh, problem. Next, I, think, I think you know my uh, telegram since I replayed your message. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. I've right? seen Ray. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I will definitely thank you. talk to you. No problem. Okay. So, okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming over to class. And um, I hope the class was useful. At least you get some... Uh, benefit from the class. This, the only aim is to practice. Thank you so much. I was expecting more people, but inshallah, we will have more people coming um, next classes. So, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Thank Ali. You. Thank, you, sir. Thank you for You're your welcome. You're welcome, ladies. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Ali. Thank you, I Mr. think uh, <laughs> the class of the day was great. It was amazing from both from the teacher and from the members. Yeah. We got so lovely members and yeah, with lots of information. And I still, um, okay. it's like, I always love to surprise my friends with vocabularies that they can use. They already know, but they haven't used them in different contexts. So inshallah, um, yeah, we will see you next class, which is going to be on Thursday. And I'm going to give you a homework, but the homework is going to be sent in Telegram. Is it okay? That's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much and look forward to meeting you again. Just to remind you, this class is being recorded and is going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, you have girl. a lovely have night. A good night. Thank you very you much. You too. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye.